Take a look at this. This is a gem. This is a 1937 patent dated J.R. Reich Manufacturing Company Universal Test Indicator. This may not be manufactured in 1937, but um, that's when it was patent dated. Well, I love old tools and I love using them, and I've tried this one out and it works great. Uh, I'd like to share with you guys some features of this tool and some other literature that I found on it. Um, first of all, this test indicator, one of the things that's really neat about it is it reads from both sides and it's 0 through 14 graduated thousands. And um, one thing that's really neat about this is this indicator goes both directions without making any adjustments. If you push up on the stylus, it reads 0 to 14. If you push down on the stylus, same thing. It reads in both directions. So you can flip it over and use it in the opposite position. This test indicator came originally with um, this block. This would be used for like a tool holder, maybe in a lathe. Um, there's other ways to use it too. But it could be mounted in, in two different positions, this hole or this hole. And this came in a, a really neat little box and I believe it had an adjustment tool with it or some sort of tool and I don't have those. But this is the predecessor to most modern dial test indicators. Um, an example would be maybe like this Michitoyo. This is a uh, Michitoyo number 513-118. Um, this is not a super accurate Michitoyo. This is a 0 through 20 through 0. So this reads, all together it reads 40 thousandths. But anyway, uh, this would be used the same way this indicator would. So I thought it would be neat to show you guys um, what, what I found on the internet about this, which not much. Um, there's not a whole lot about it. But one of the neat things I found was, I found a couple ads. This ad was posted in a newspaper. And it says, uh, for machine and tool work and quick setups, use Reich's the only three-weight reading precision indicator. Contact point mounted in centered cone bearings. 14 thousandths reading. Order direct or through your dealer. Price, $5. Check that out, $5. By the way, this ad was a 1937 publication. That's the same year that it was um, patented. Here's another one. This is a popular mechanics ad. I really like this one. It, uh, it says, for machine and tool work and quick setups, price $5. Send for descriptive literature. That's pretty neat. And uh, the other thing I found was, um, I found the patent drawing. This is the first page of the patent drawing. It's kind of neat. Shows all the parts. And right there is the patent date, August 31st, 1937. And that's what it says on the indicator as well. Let's see if I can get you focused right there. August 31st, 37. So I have a job coming up on the mill and I thought it would be interesting to use this to tram in our vertical attachment on our mill. So I know this head is off, let's tram it in. Okay, so I've got the indicator set on five, between the four and the six right there. Um, and I've made a few adjustments and I've got it pretty close. Let's see if this indicator will repeat itself. Um, right there, I don't, can you see that on camera? The, the pointer is right on the five. And even with it jumping over the T-slots, it's still holding pretty close. There's five. There's five. Okay, it's pretty repeatable. So um, this indicator, um, I would put it up against the Mechitoyo any day of the week. So there it is. There's my J.R. Reich Manufacturing Test Indicator. Universal Test Indicator. I like it a lot. It's going to go in the toolbox. Um, I may use it every once in a while. Uh, I'll spare it from any severe abuse. Maybe it'll live long enough to be passed on again. And if you like this video, be sure to click subscribe, give me a like, and uh, thanks for watching.